with the spread between the two-year and 10-year Treasury bond most closely followed by investors like all of you, us. What's, what if it's the wrong place to look? Our Steve Leisman here with why every picture tells a different story. And maybe, Steve, we're looking at the wrong one. Don't it? Uh, yeah, everybody looks at the 210. But economists and, and folks at the Fed like to look much closer in, Scott. And the reason is because what are you trying to do here? You're trying to see what the bond market tells us about the next year or two years. So why would you look at the two and the 10 years out? Why not look much closer? I'll just show you the, uh, the, the three-month, two-year spread is the one that economists and folks at the Fed prefer because of the information included in there. Um, and there's another reason. It's a little hard to tease out from this graphic here, but when the, this curve inverts, it inverts more closely to the actual recession than the 210 spread, and you'd think that would be right. And right now, by the way, this is screaming like, I don't know where it would be, like a kind of mid-expansion. It's nowhere near inverting. It's going the other way as the Fed hikes and, and interest rates are higher, and that's the way it's positioned right now. Um, let me show you what you leave on the table if you follow the 210 spread. This is work done by Robert Perley and Roberto Perley and uh, Benson Durham from Piper Sandler. Um, and if you guys take a look at that uh, uh, chart that we made the, uh, with the changes or wh when the uh, inversions happen and what stocks do, what you see here is, first of all, it's a very long time from the 210 inversion until the recession, 17 months, 20 months, 23 months. These are the, some of the more extreme examples. And then look at what stocks did from the time of the inversion, Scott, until the recession, up 11%, up 20%, up hmm. 18%. So you follow this, maybe you get out of the way early enough, but you, you, sure, get, you sure leave a lot on the table. And that's we, the work that, th that those two economists are I mean, doing. we forget about that, right? We, we assume, or we talk about it, as though the yield curve, the 210 spread, inverts, and then a recession happens two weeks later. And as you show, uh, it's far different than that, even though I'm being overly simplistic, as you know. Let me ask you a question before I let you, you bounce. Um, I'm looking at the two years up more than 8% today, Steve, um, 230. And I wonder, as I think you are, you're suggesting, too, that the market might be getting a little ahead of itself on how aggressive it thinks the Fed is going to be. What are your thoughts there? You know, <clears throat> I think Powell for the moment is going to let the market find its level here. Uh, the market has two things to get out of the way of. The first is, well, three things, really. Uh, a coming inflation wave from, from the war in Ukraine. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, uh, additional um, uh, inflation from that. Uh, the Fed rate hikes and the uh, balance sheet reduction. Those three things are going to be uh, a challenge for markets. Uh, I, I think the idea of the Fed being at or closer, a little bit above 2% by year end is not crazy. Um, the, the 230 is maybe a little bit ahead, but I don't think it's crazy right now. The question is how much uh, tightening Powell wants to pull forward. He's pulled a lot of it forward. Uh, I'm not sure he's, he's dissatisfied where we are right well, now. Well, as you sent around, and um, I don't think you'll, you'll mind if I share this, what, what you said in a note to us was the question for the Fed is not what pace it tightens. It's how much future tightening it brings forward into today's economy. I mean, that's the bottom line. Right. Exactly. And, and I promised Patty I'd be brief, uh, Scott, uh, <laughs> even though you didn't make that promise. Um, but yes, uh, look, he's playing everybody and it's very successful here, right? The Fed has raised a quarter and there's 190 basis points. Don't think that you have to deal with the future rate hikes. They're already here right now. The question is how much he wants to put in. I think Powell wants to be a little bit um, judicious about this. Um, he's already pulled a lot forward, and we'll see. He'll do 50, and he might signal another 50. There's guys who are out there that are saying maybe it's closer to two and three quarters or three percent. Rates are going up. They're going higher. The question is the pace. Right now, Powell has been successful at bringing forward tightening into the economy today, and we'll see how much more he wants to bring. Well, because you can make an